Okay, here we go again. Good morning, Facebook. I'm Christy Elliott, and I am here with my friend, Mary Wynn King. Hi. And I just wanted to do a little business spotlight and talk about your business. So I wanna give you a chance to tell us a little bit about you and how you got started with your um, business. And tell us about the name. So my business is Simplicity Home Staging and Design. Um, I have always had a passion for design. Uh, even back to like when I was a teenager and I would be like, mom, this is the right decision. <laughs> like she'd be weighing out two <laughs> options and I'm like, obviously it's this one. Um, so that's kind of the earliest memories I have of just loving it and yeah. always wanting to stage and design and just my goal for my business is to help your home feel like you, not me, but you. Um, some people have a hard time communicating what that looks like, but through communication and through you know, getting together and getting to know that person, I'm able to kind of narrow that down and then try to help them the best I can. That's really cool. Um, and you started the business when? A year and a half ago. Okay. So it has slowly gotten off the ground and I, I love it. I, if I'm not with a client, then I am learning and growing and doing DIY projects with our family and with my husband and just yeah. everything about um, the real estate and just different homes and building our own home helped me a lot. Just kind of understand that process. Um, so it was, it's been really good and really fun. It's always fun to come to your house and look at what you've done. I mean, maybe in a minute I'll do a quick run around. Um, I didn't prepare you for that, but that's okay. Um, but she and her husband, not only do they work together, but like he makes things for their home. Like she does it on a super frugal uh, oh, yeah. pocketbook. Oh yeah, and, definitely. But I feel like you know where to spend some money to make the bang for your buck too. Yeah, so. definitely. Cool. Definitely. Well, so since I do mortgage loans, a lot of my clients are people that are selling a house, you know, in order to buy. And so they have a big to-do list Definitely. between working on, you know, working with realtors and finding new homes and then preparing for mortgage and, you know, all that. They still have to get their current home ready right. to sell. Right. So I wanted to hear like some of your checklist for someone that's trying to sell their home um, so that they know what to do. And then also, I know you also do that. You help right. stage and prepare people's houses. Would you mind telling us a little bit about the costs involved and what you can do? Sure. Um, so you want to start with like how they could prepare their home sure. and then move into that? Yeah, yeah. Um, so some tips if you're going to tackle that yourself. Um, there's some key things that really are important to focus on. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that moving is is a lot. And, and yeah. going in to help someone, I totally honor that, get that, try to make it as stress-free as possible. But if you are going to tackle it by yourself, um, the three main rooms in the home to really focus on initially are your great room, okay. your master bedroom, All right. and your kitchen. Oh, yeah. So those three rooms help sell your home and they make the biggest impact positively or negatively. So um, for me, when I walk into a home, it's really important to see the flow of the home. If, if there's automatically a bunch of things to, to put your focus on and not kind of simplifying it, then it's hard for that buyer to actually envision themselves living there. That makes sense. So really and truly simplifying and really eliminating unnecessary furniture or um, pictures on the walls that might be of your family. Of course, you love them. They're sentimental. But to let someone walk in your home and get it ready, we've got to take those down. So one thing I love about staging, whether you're doing it on your own or with with me, um, is it helps you pre-pack. You have to pack those things Ooh, anyway. So it helps you kind of maybe pace yourself a little bit before just totally being overwhelmed. Um, so some of the, just the simple things that I have, I actually even have made up like a homeowner's checklist. Nice. Super, super simple, just of like 10 really easy things. Some of them may seem already evident to you, but some of them are things you might not think about. True. Um, so for starters, the, the decluttering, the prepacking, kind of clean swiping your kitchen, first of all, we can start there. Um, like appliances, anything like that. We all have to have coffee in the morning, but <laughs> before those showings and before your pictures come out, put your coffee maker under. My friend told me a story recently. <laughs> 
She packed up their toaster. Oh, dear. And, like, they had this big conflict, her and her husband, when he needed the toaster. And she was like, I clearly need <laughs> your appliances. Exactly. And he was like, I'm going to go buy another one. I know, one. right? I know. Um, so, just the thing about the kitchen is just cleaning those countertops. And, like, if you want to put out, like, your favorite bowl that you have, whether it's a cream or neutral bowl with a fresh um, thing of limes or oranges or lemons that would be great cool but keep it simple um also i don't suggest having a lot of scents you're going to want to oh, de yeah. you know de pet if you have pets just deep clean and eliminate <laughs> yes. that odor obviously but even like certain people love different scents of candles and stuff like that sure. and i like to point out that um like certain scents give me a massive headache so you Same don't here. want somebody to come yeah. in and then get a headache off of something that you love, but then not have a good taste in their mouth. Because first impressions are important. So what is the safe scent to have? Like, would a candle be okay? Or do you need to have... Like, the best one would be, like, chocolate chip cookies. Okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so, you can't go wrong with that. Um, but, yeah. So that's just, a, just like, a side note. Um, also, something that people don't tend to think about before uh, either you know, actually doing their professional photos or showing it is open those blinds. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, like True. when I walk in a house to stage it, one of the first things I do is open those blinds to get all that natural light in. People want, typically want open concepts. So it helps it feel True. more open. It's bright. It's cheery. Yeah. You know, we all want that. Um, and so that's really important. Uh, another tip for you would be, um, to take up your rugs. Really? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. Okay, why? Because that is something that's personal to you. To be able to kind of get an immediate flow going on instead yeah. of starting and stopping those rooms with rugs, okay. it will make it feel bigger huh. and open. And they also probably, I mean, they really want to see what your floors look like, especially if you have awesome floors. And that's they a can hold the smells. De exactly. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. So take up those rugs, those runners, those bath mats, all of it. Gotcha. And right. that's just, it's a simple thing to do. Um, and for us women who love our, you know, lotions and our makeups, yeah. um, just go in there and just tuck them under your sink. Okay. Nobody really, like, like to walk in the master bathroom and you've got, you know, the husband and wife's sinks and right. then to have their personal things on the, on the sinks. Just it's just easy it does just to tuck them under. Quickly fill up the space. It does, and it takes away from the main points of the house. True. You want it to be where they can say, "Oh, I want to be in that bathroom, or right. I want to be in that master bedroom." Um, and so, um, those are some good tips. One, I've got two last ones that I think are really important. Okay. <laughs> Start with the first one. Close your toilet lids. <laughs> That's good. Like for pictures yeah. and for somebody walking in, True. just shut the lids. Yeah. It just streamlines everything. Very it's all simple. good. Super simple. And um, lastly, if you feel like you need to update your um, your pillows, mm -hmm. like in your main great room, especially oh, yeah. just to freshen some up, you can go to Home Goods and get a pack of two for twenty five dollars. Right. That will go a long way. Just Great. some neutral tan cream off-white pillows, things that you're going to take to your next house yeah. that you would love anyway, then I would definitely just suggest freshening those up because that really makes a difference. Awesome. So, yeah. Okay. So, if someone is just overwhelmed and they have a lot of stuff and mm -hmm. they want help, mm -hmm. what do you do? So, I do everything that we've talked about. I mean, minus maybe closing the toilet lids <laughs> because you can do that right before they come. Um, but I come in and... What I like to do initially is kind of take a small tour of the house with you. Um, and first and foremost, I would like to say that my goal is to serve you the best that I can. Um, these are your personal things that you value that are important to you, your personal photos. And like, we want to take the best care of those as we can. So we usually do kind of a walk around really quick of the house so I can gather whether we need to do any furniture rearrangement. Okay. Um, what the highlights are and what right. we want to focus on. Um, and then I will help pull up the rugs. I'll help rearrange the furniture. If the flow feels 
closed in when you walk in the house, which is really important, then we'll just rearrange some things if we can physically move them or right. suggest that they do it when their husband gets home or, yeah, you know, sense. some man help, some neighbor help. Um, sometimes suggesting furniture or excess chairs and things like that that you have in the corners be tucked in your garage. Yeah. Just to get, get them out of sight, just okay. to help really sh make things simple. Less is more. Yeah. It really, and that's why I love, like, simplicity. Less right. is more, and with the buyer walking in, it goes a long way. Um, so, then I would ask, where would you like me to place your things? Like, the little knickknacks that will help rearrange your bookshelves, if you'd like. Um, take things off of maybe the tops of your kitchen cabinets. Right. And use a ladder and get up there. And just, so we would ask, where would your spot be? on that floor or that room that you'd like us to put your things. So then cool. you can prepack. Yep. Okay. And go ahead and ta start tackling that. Cause awesome. that's something that I think is important. The homeowner needs to pack their own things. Cause then they know where they are. Oh, that's true. You know, like in yeah. that, they know how well they're packed and all of that. That's yeah. really important. Makes sense. So, um, so yeah, so we do that and get it ready to just literally my two goals are to help you make the most for your home. Yep. by streamlining it and simplifying it and um, let the buyer see themselves here. Right. So whatever so, that takes. And I asked Mary Wynn in advance if she wouldn't mind sharing <laughs> what kind of investment does that look like, you know, the, sure. the cost for your business to come in and do that. Sure. Um, so I am the type of person that I want it to all, I want my business to always be feasible and reasonable um, for anybody to maybe consider. Uh, so literally, I try to keep it simple for the client, simple for me, and I just do, it. I'm $75 an hour. So on an average house, just so you know, on some of the ones that I've done, um, roughly three to four hours. Wow. So maybe $300 That's of great. an investment. Okay. You know, so I mean, like with everything else you have going on, like I want to help with that yeah. because it's just a lot, especially a lot. if you're moving out of town, you right. know. And your hat or states, yeah, um, which a lot of families are having to relocate and all of that. So, so when they do the process, mm -hmm. like you would run through, you'd make a stack of things for them to pack, mm -hmm. and yep. it's gonna look like it should when it's time for them to do the pictures. At that point, it it or will have the rest of the to do list. Right, awesome. there may be some things that I have to say. Okay, well, here are some other suggestions to do, right. um, because. It will either require somebody else. I do have some help that can come with me sometimes, which is great um, to have an extra hand. It will feel like you might be going backwards because you're condensing things. You might walk in your dining room and have yeah. things on your dining table and you're like, oh dear. But I promise there's there's a... Pro a That's just part of it's it. It's part of it. Because yeah. you're either doing it or, or we're helping you do it. Yeah. Um, you got to deal with the stuff either way. Yeah, exactly. So, so yeah. So, and then just deep clean. I mean, just make Good. sure it's clean and fresh and open your windows a few days ahead of time to get just natural fresh air, fresh air in. Yeah. And, um, there's a lot of things you can do. So, that's, awesome. That's so, good. um, if someone wanted to, this is kind of on the similar topic, but different question. If someone wanted to like make an investment, say, you know, I have this much money that I am willing to invest in my current home to get it ready to sell. What's the biggest bang for the buck that you would say in general terms would be that they could spend on their house to make more money when they sell? Yeah. Um, I would say that if you haven't painted your walls neutral colors, that would be your biggest bang for your buck. Okay. Because just different personalities have different, different colors that they love to splash on the wall and someone coming in kind of is looking for somewhat of a blank slate and yeah. to be able to put their own personality and spin on things. Right. So design and staging are pretty opposite in that regard. Right. Uh, so it's, it, I would say definitely painting and, or if you're, if you have it neutral, but you've lived there for five plus years, freshen up the paint. paint. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean, uh, I'm, I mean, little fingers, yes. even big fingers, oh but my gosh, especially pets too. I so, know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, don't use flat paint because that's where the fingerprints stay that's and so they don't true. go away. At least eggshell. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my last question for you today is, all right, I'm not selling my home, but you've kind of piqued my interest. Um, if I wanted to, you know, 
consider bringing you into my house for regular home design, sure. um, what would that look like? So once again, I like to keep it really simple. Um, I have a consultation, an initial consultation, um, that is about an hour, hour and a half long, um, typically. I try to not be like a super stick, I mean, you know, if something runs over 10 right. minutes, no big deal. Um, and that's a hundred dollars. So I will be able to go through a room or multiple rooms right. that you might want help on. Cause I want to know your style and get to know you better. So coming to your home is really helpful. Um, and then we can kind of talk through, Hey, I'd like to use that chest over there, but I'd really like a new piece of artwork over it. Or I've inherited this. And how can I use it? How can I use it? Which if you want to update it, I'm a fan of chalk paint, you know, that. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, um, so I'm a big fan of using, incorporating what you already mm -hmm. have and trying to help update it and make it feel new and fresh. Yeah. If you want to start from scratch, that's fine. But a lot of us have pieces that we want to keep. Yeah. And want to work around it. So I think that's important. So it's $100 for the consultation. And then after that, typically how it works best is I come home and work on mood boards to send back over to you if you want, you know, like a den or a, right. a music room or a great room or a home office um, redone. And then you can say, you know, yes, I love that. I don't care for that. You know, I'm more rustic or I'm more modern. So right. it gives me some more feedback just to make sure we're on the same page because there's no use in, in wasting anybody's time. Right. <laughs> I'm like all about being efficient and to the point. Um, so that's 75 an hour. And then if you want me to do any shopping or any other design help after that, it's 75 an hour. So it's just really simple. Cool. Just straightforward. Okay. So I, I didn't read this to you in advance, but I saved it. Okay. Um, a friend, a mutual friend of ours has used you. Oh, <laughs> and she gave me some feedback. This is what she said about Marilyn. I hired a decorator for the first time this past year, and it has been an amazing experience. She is so sweet and easy to work with. I'm completely at ease with her in my home. Working with her has made my life so much easier and less stressful. She will work with my existing decor and add new pieces as needed. She also helped me decorate for Christmas this year, which I have never done before, which was so helpful and fun in the process. She worked with my existing Christmas decor. She helped me on furniture placement when we moved, helped select rugs, light fixtures, wallpaper, paint colors, bedding, lamps, home decor, etc. I wish I had done this years ago. Her name is Mary Wynn King <laughs> oh. with Simplicity Home Staging and Design. Oh. I highly recommend her. So, oh, oh like, she's okay, so sweet. That's I love person. working with her. Yes. That's great. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I really want it to be fun. Any, like, people think, I think, that design can has to be in a box. Yeah. And I'm like, no, let's think out of the box. Let's make it fun. Because the more you stress, the less the creati creativity yeah, flows. That's true. So, I just, I try to just keep it light and... And just enjoy the client, and it's about relationships. It's, awesome. it's about serving them. So. Okay, so what we're going to offer for you guys on Facebook today, um, first of all, for sharing this video so we can get more word around town about what she's doing, um, I'm going to do a $50 giveaway to Home Goods. Woo! Yay! So share the video. Um, <laughs> let's let everyone hear about this cool opportunity. And Mary Wynn is offering a special promotion. Yes. Can you tell us about it? So I want to offer $25 off an initial consultation if okay. you contact me by the end of January. Yep. Um, and said that you saw the video or right. however cool. shared it or whatever. So, um, and uh, I'm just excited. I'm just excited to help other people and I love doing it through design, through design and staging. So, so yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to give them a quick peek. All right, so oh she lives in a so beautiful good. neighborhood. <laughs> I don't even know what you're seeing out the window. Um, she has a beautiful farmhouse, and her little partial Christmas is left, so that's okay. <laughs> um, but look at this view out here. This is ceilings. She really has amazing taste, but also, like, Corey made your coffee mm -hmm. table, right? Yeah, he did. So, they, um... And the farm table. They work together really well. And it's beautiful. So, Cora's right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching our video. And um, we hope that we can serve you guys. Thank you. See you next time.